Hey there everybody, it's Shadow Sonic here to bring you my 23rd Let's Play Goof Troop for the Super Nintendo. As in, this is back in the day when licensed games, at least from Disney, were not complete garbage most of the time. <laughs> so, funny sto- er, actually I'll save that for after we start the game. Um. Basically, this game is based on a TV show that was running around in the 90s under... No, I don't want it to go to the screensaver. Under the same name. And it was a pretty good TV show. But it's quite enjoyable, a game without knowing or having any interest in said TV show. So let's get started. It was a great day for fishing in Spoonerville, so Goofy and his pals headed out to the ocean with their boats. Cruising for the big ones in open water, Pete and PJ were suddenly caught in the ominous shadow of a gigantic ship. Hmm. When Goofy and Max looked up, they saw a huge pirate ship heading out to Spoonerville Island. Pete and PJ were on board, victims of a pirate kidnapping. Oh boy, that trip went south. Goofy rode for all he was worth, but he couldn't catch up to the pirate ship before it landed on the island. Determined to rescue their friends, Goofy and Max set out to explore the island and find the pirate's stronghold. Alright, so, we start with the character select. The one and two player selections obviously I can't do, since I don't have to have a friend to do this with. And then we have the one player selections. Goofy is slower than Max here, but unlike Max, he is capable of defeating any enemy with one well-placed weapon to the head. Max is quicker, but has to use two on mo two attacks on most enemies. I generally prefer playing as Max. And yes, each of those dots is one level, which means this is a rather short game. Now, better talk to this guy before I move on. Don't look now, man! Keyhole Pete, the dreaded Pirate King, has returned! Hmm, it's not good. We thought Keyhole Pete was swallowed by a whale, but he's back, and he's brought the cabin boy with him! Cabin boy? Wait a second. Did you say anything else in addition to that? No, you didn't. Don't. Yeah. Alright, Going to the right here immediately. Each of these cherries fills one heart. You take a hit, you lose all your hearts. But if you can get more than six, you gain a life. Also, I just picked up this neat little tool. It can be very, very useful indeed. Hey, what do you have to say? You know, Spoonerville Island used to be a safe place before old Keyhole Pete got out of that whale. Not really. Since Keyhole Pete and that wicked partner of his landed, Pirate's been trying to take over Spoonerville Island. Hmm. Well, we should probably put a stop to that, but first I'm gonna head over here to get some supplies. And here we see the easiest forms of enemies in this game. This guy is a burly pirate. He requires two hits. And these guys are not burly, so they only require one hit. Of course, if you whack them with a big block like this, well, it takes one hit regardless. <laughs> so, let's get these goodies. Like I said before, cherries are two heart, are one heart apiece. Bananas are two hearts piece, which means I should have three after getting these. Yep. 
The red diamond is a full life. And the blue diamond is a continue. Now you might think that continues are pretty much worth... aren't really any more worth anything than lives, but actually that's not entirely the case. See, if you die, you immediately respawn on the same screen. You don't even lose any hits on any enemies you've... you've landed on. If you lose all your lives and have to use a continue, however, you restart the entire level over. Which is not good. In fact, coupled with the password system, it makes continues rather worthless. <laughs> So, go. I am going to quickly head up here and push this block onto that pedestal so I can go over to the right. This introduces this introduces block puzzles and we will be seeing a few more of these in this level. But the main reason I went to the went that way first and then coming back is for that plank of wood. I need that plank of wood because very soon we're going to be coming up on the on the other side of that screen that we got it on and there was a noticeable gap. Right, see right here. You're gonna need a bridge to make it across here, man. Maybe that wooden board on the other side will work. That would be helpful if I didn't already go to the other side. Bye bye froggy, and... <laughs> it's interesting how there's a bird in that. It's the only egg in the game, for some reason. Oh, one more thing. If you can push enemies off the... off a walkway into water, or down into a bottomless abyss, that works just as well as killing them normally. So... You should definitely do that if you can. Now, see, here is the first actual block puzzle, which is pretty freaking obvious of what to do. Don't worry, it gets more difficult as the game goes on. In fact, there is a particular point in the game where I wasn't able to solve a block, block puzzle for a very, very long time. Fortunately, it was an optional block puzzle, <laughs> so I didn't need to do it in order to beat the game. But I will be showing off that that puzzle when we get to that point. If you've played this game before, you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, now that we have this key, we can continue. But instead of going to the left like what we need to do in order to progress, I'm instead going to go up for a second, because I want to show off this shovel here. Now unfortunately we can't go all Shovel Knight and use it as a weapon. Instead, we can use the shovel over there to find some hidden pirate treasure. And this really brown dirt is an excellent spot to use it on. However, I am not going to be digging everywhere because, frankly, that would take way too long. But the loot is kind of randomized. Like, in my last attempt to record this, which only failed because I forgot to hit the start button on the recording, I only got cherries. Not a life and not bananas. Anyway, we've cleared that place out so we can continue. <laughs> Stupid pirates. Now, I am going to pick this up then go around the other way, use that, and throw this out. That lets me push that block to get the... Why'd I pick that up? I don't need it. Anyway, it lets me push the block out of the way in order to get the... 
the life. And I don't need to kill these enemies right now, but I just did in order to keep myself healthy. We'll be going up there later. For now, we need to kill that guy. And then solve a slightly more complex block puzzle, which is still very, very obvious. I mean, seriously. This basically just says, hey, block puzzles are a thing in this game. Nothing more. But! Now we have to actually kill the enemies going this direction, which is a bit trickier considering there were only two weapons to fight them with before, but obviously not too much quicker. Since, yeah, I finished destroying them in the middle of describing how much more difficult it was than, it, than the normal way. These guys we don't have to kill, but it makes it a whole lot easier to get to that door over there. So, let us go through and fight the boss. We will smash you! We will crush! We will bash you! Into mush! And with that, the battle begins. We're basically just playing whack-a-mole. So... Whack-a-mole! <laughs> Anyone? You can also catch their projectiles, which you will need to do since there are more than four of them to fight, and you only have four barrels without picking up any of their stuff. But obviously, they are not going to last for long. And the stage is clear. And there we get to see both the clear time for the level and the password. Now this password does not change for any reason, so if you, for, if you want to skip level 1 and go straight to level 2, there you go. But, since there are only 5 levels in the game, I should probably just make each level its own part. Which means, Anthony, it is your time to shine! It's Waluigi! <sighs> anyway. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can become super popular! Ahem. <clears throat> eh, and him too. Thank you. Also, if you want to see me let's play a particular game or have general let's playing tips, be sure to let me know because I am very interested in your opinions. But until next time, where we complete level two, this is Shadow Sonic, signing out.